The story is set in Berlin and begins with Lola's boyfriend Manny working as a courier for a fence, calling her from a phone booth. He accidentally left a plastic bag with 100,000 marks in the subway, where he had to ride unintentionally because Lola didn't pick him up as planned. Her moped was stolen while she was getting cigarettes. Manny is sure that a homeless man who was in the same subway took the money. As this job is considered a trust test after a previous failure, Manny must deliver the money urgently. Lola implores him to wait for her for another 20 minutes until exactly 12, as she will come up with a solution. Manny promises, but at 12, he will rob the supermarket across from the phone booth if Lola hasn't arrived by then. After a short thought, Lola decides to ask her father, the branch manager of the Deutsche Transfer Bank, for help. First run. In the stairwell, Lola encounters a boy with an aggressive dog, causing her to briefly recoil. At a street corner, she bumps into a woman with a stroller who scolds her. Photo sequence. The child is taken from the woman by the police and handed over to the rightful mother. The woman steals another one from a briefly unattended stroller. Later, Lola runs alongside a cyclist who offers to sell her his bike. She declines. Photo sequence. He is robbed and beaten on his bike, then marries his nurse. Lola narrowly passes in front of the car of Mr. Meyer, a customer of her father, emerging from a driveway distracted, colliding with a BMW on the street, from which three thugs emerge, causing Mr. Meyer to miss his appointment with Lola's father. At a street corner, she unknowingly runs past the homeless man who found and took Manny's money back. In the bank, Lola first encounters a bank employee. Photo sequence. She is seriously injured in an accident, has to sit in a wheelchair, and kills herself. When Lola pleads with her father for the money, he laughs at her, informs her that she's a cuckoo child, that he's tired of always having to pay for everything, and that he will leave the family for a co-worker. He has her thrown out. Meanwhile, Manny tries in vain to get money from friends using a phone card borrowed from a blind woman. Lola runs alongside an ambulance that barely breaks in front of a long glass pane carried across the street by four people. At noon, Lola turns the corner to the meeting point and only sees Manny starting the supermarket robbery. He doesn't respond to her call. When he is confronted by a security guard, she knocks him out from behind and joins the robbery. Both flee with the money and weapons but are soon confronted by the police. Manny, resigned, throws the bag with the loot into the air, distracting a young police officer whose gun accidentally fires, hitting Lola in the chest. She falls dead on the street. In an interlude, Lola and Manny lie side by side in bed, smoking. To his declarations that she is the best woman in the world, she responds with the question of whom he would say that to if they had never met and whether their relationship is just a product of chance. The image fades back to Lola, injured on the street, now refusing to accept this outcome of the story. Second run. The falling bag with the loot transforms into a falling telephone receiver, and Lola starts running again. In the stairwell, the boy trips her, causing her to fall down the stairs and subsequently limp slightly. Once again, she collides with the woman with the stroller. Photo sequence, she fills out a lottery ticket, wins millions, and starts a new life with her partner, and encounters the cyclist. This time, she accuses him of stealing the bike. Photo sequence. He lives on the street and dies from a lethal dose. She now simply walks over Mr. Meyer's hood, although his accident still happens. This time, she not only runs past the homeless man on the street corner, but bumps into him. Due to the fall in the stairwell, she arrives at the bank a bit later than in the first run, giving her father's lover enough time to confess to him that she is pregnant by someone else. The two get into an argument, interrupted by Lola, whose outburst leads her to the decision to force her father to hand over the needed sum with the security guard's pistol. Photo sequence, the bank clerk at the copier now falls in love with the cashier and they become a couple. She succeeds in escaping because the police, who have already surrounded the bank, mistake her for an escaping hostage. She asks the ambulance driver to take her, but he refuses, driving into the glass pane carried across the street, shattering it. As Lola approaches Manny, who is about to enter the supermarket, he responds to her call, aborts his plan, and turns around. As the two walk towards each other across the intersection, Manny is hit and fatally injured by the ambulance. In the following interlude, Manny asks Lola questions and wants to know if her life wouldn't continue normally despite her love for him in the event of his death. Lola's response, but you're not dead yet, transitions to the third run. Lola jumps over the boy in the staircase and doesn't collide with the woman outside, who seems to be surprised. Photo sequence. She comes into contact with a religious community and promotes her new faith. 
This time, Lola falls over Mr. Meyer's hood and briefly stays there, preventing the accident with the BMW. Apparently, Lola and Mr. Meyer know each other. The cyclist sells his bike to the homeless man. Since Mr. Meyer appears on time for his bank appointment this time and leaves with Lola's father, she doesn't encounter him. The bank's security guard makes a suggestive remark to her and receives an icy look. He feels uncomfortable. His heartbeat accelerates. Manny is pointed to the homeless man with the plastic bag by the blind woman at the phone booth, who rides past them on his bike. Manny chases after him, causing a collision between A, the car with Lola's father and Mr. Meyer, B, the BMW that Mr. Meyer collided with in other runs, and C, the man who stole Lola's moped at the very beginning. Lola, now perplexed, asks God for help in her thoughts, runs with her eyes closed, narrowly avoids being hit by a truck at the next intersection, and spots the casino across the street. There, she plays roulette with her last, almost 100 marks, bets on number 20 twice in a row, wins both times, collects her winnings, almost 130,000 marks, and this time boards the ambulance, which stops again in front of the glass pane. Inside lies the bank security guard, receiving CPR. Lola seizes his hand, and his normal heartbeat resumes. When Manny confronts the homeless man with his gun, he demands his money back, and the homeless man willingly hands it over in exchange for the gun. Lola doesn't find Manny at the phone booth and looks for him. He soon emerges from a black limousine. He delivered the money and regained the trust of his fence. Manny and Lola leave together. He asks her if she ran and what she has in her bag. It's her casino winnings. Another photo sequence with snapshots of the future is announced acoustically, but this time it is not shown. And here the film comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed this recap of the stylish German cult thriller Run Lola Run from 1998. If you want to see more recaps of cult films like this, just subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.